Being short ain't the end of the world. I'm gonna break it down into five concepts. Number one, you can't change it. Number two, what can you do? Number three, if you're being made fun of. And number four, think big term. And number five, God made you this way. So what do I mean by you can't change it? I mean, we all know majority of what determines your height as a man, is gonna be your genetics. So yeah, you ain't changing the past. But there is an exception is that there are some families that can afford their kids to hop on steroid programs to grow tall. But you know, that's not most people. So we aren't gonna talk about it. Anyways, you're born that way. So stick with it. You're either born tall, or short, whatever. One thing you can do is get in shape. There's a lot of controversy going on about body positivity and all this bullshit. But that's all it is. People would rather make fun of a short person who can't do jack shit to change that, but praise someone for being fat. And I think that's fucked up. So rather focus on what you can control because you can't upgrade your looks by getting in shape. That brings me to my second concept. What can you do? And one of those things is work out. One of the things working out will do is will make you feel better and look better. And yeah, they say personality doesn't matter, but your personality is actually what's gonna carry you the most in life. Like you could have everything in the world and feel like dog shit. So yeah, just be a optimistic, bright person. You can also develop your charisma and your confidence. And all those things come from within. At the end of the day, if you're short, the only person that can feel short is you. But on a personal level, you can't feel like that. Maybe physically, but you can't feel like that both ways. Because otherwise, you just ain't going to be confident. And then we have the concept of if you're being made fun of. And if you are being made fun of, just take a joke, you know? People just like to fool around. Not everything has to be taken personal. And yeah, it's funny sometimes. I even laugh at short jokes myself. So basically, there's gonna be haters everywhere. If you're short, they're gonna hate on you. If you're tall, they're gonna hate on you. Haters, go and be haters. But here's the thing. Everyone has their own right to their own opinions. So the most important part is, yeah, you're gonna hear it. But internally, you got to know who you are so that it doesn't bug you. Because if you let the shit people say bug you, you're their slave. In short, you just got to be yourself and think long term. That brings me to the fourth concept is to think long term. Like nobody actually cares. When you die, they're not going to be looking at you like, oh, this man was short, blah, 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 blah. Hell no. Nah. I'm going to be looking at how you carry yourself in life and your accomplishments. That's what you want to be known for. And that's what you are going to be known for. The jokes and whatever, there are quite temporary. You got to think in terms of forever. Last, but most importantly, God made you this way. So yeah, God gives you some factors you can change like your weight, your body fat, how much muscle you have. The height he gave you is for a reason because somehow I'm learning that every detail God has incorporated into my life and probably everybody else's life is that every detail has a key role in your character development. If you're tall, be grateful. If you're short, be grateful. As long as you're making the most out of it, be grateful. But anyways... I think being grateful is a very good character trait to have. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, make sure to drop a like, share, sub, and comment more things I should discuss because I feel like the important shit in life is not very discussed, even on social media. At the end of the day, clout isn't that important. All I've been doing for videos is just to make a difference. So whether that's motivating somebody or teaching somebody something important that I know, that's what it is. See you next time.